Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the ACS team here to do a video doing a review of the Palm Pre, uh, the Sprint Palm Pre actually. I know it's an old phone, but I actually got a lot of comments and people talking about the Palm Pre and their past experiences and everything. So I kind of wanted to give my review of it, let you know what I think of WebOS related to Android. So I'll be doing that later in the video. But first of all, let's go ahead and go over some hardware specs. On the, the uh, basically on the front, you got a 3.1 inch screen, which is pretty small compared to the Android phones now. You're getting used to four inch screens, even bigger than that. Got the microphone up at the top, and you have the, I guess you want to say LED ball. It's not really a ball because it's not like a track ball, but it's just a button that lights up when you have a notification like so. You got the uh, microphone down here. On the side, you've got volume rockers up and down. The other side, you have a little compartment for a micro USB cable right there which was nice that it had micro USB because I have a lot of those cables that's for sure and then you have on the back up at the top you got the power button right here you have the sound uh, on and off switch where you can have sound off sound on with just with the switch and you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and on the back I believe it's a 3 megapixel camera, which isn't all that bad. It, it takes pretty good pictures, and then you have an LED flashlight up at the flashlight up at the top, and speaker right there. It's just palm in the back. Uh, but other than that, I had a pretty good experience with this phone. It is pretty slow. I mean, it's it's nothing to write home about with speed. To be honest, the hardware. I, I do like the form factor of this phone. I like the way it slides out and you have the keyboard down here. Overall, I believe it is just a little bit too small for me. I just think it is just a little bit on the small side, so if they could if they do ever make another one for any reason, I would recommend it being bigger. But that being said, it uh, I did have a good experience. I tried GPS out. It worked very well, surprisingly. I heard a lot of issues with this phone and GPS, but I uh, actually, someone that was driving got lost, so I set up my GPS and we found our way using Sprint Navigation on this phone, which worked very well. It also has 8 gigs of internal memory, which I was surprised about. That is quite a lot for being such an old phone. But enough about the hardware. Let's go ahead and hop into the software, WebOS, that I know everyone loves, including me. I really, really enjoy... WebOS. It's uh, a really a good operating system. It definitely could be improved, but it also is has some really awesome features with starting with the gestures area. You got a gestures area right here above the trackball where you can, um, it's kind of like the back button for Android where if you go into something and uh, let's say I went into the contacts, if I hit the swipe left and went back, see how it went back. And then, so you got that gesture area. If you're in an app and you want to go to your bottom dock bar, you just swipe up and it brings up the wave where you can go into and whether you're launch or messaging, whatever you have set up down at the dock. So you got that option there. Um, you can just tap the ball and it, you got a, basically they're called cards where when you open uh, something up, so let's say if I go to my app drawer and want to open up the music app, see how it opens up a new card and then it'll go into the music app and if I press the ball again I can go back between the cards just flip back and forth between them I believe I can make them smaller as you can see if I have a bunch open I can make them smaller and flip back and forth I actually have uh, it's actually really really easy to make tweaks on this phone I already have a custom kernel installed that runs at 1 gigahertz which did improve the speed for sure it's definitely running faster than it did I can't remember what it runs by default it might be 500 megahertz or something around there but other than that I do like the keyboard I like the feel of it it's just a little bit condensed and small it's hard to reach some of the keys sometimes when you're trying to type fast but I do like the feel of it the buttons are really really nice um, if you just start typing anywhere it'll bring up the universal search and so if you type something you have the options to search, search Google Maps Wikipedia and Twitter for when you uh, type something in, which is really nice. It actually didn't have a keyboard, uh, on-screen keyboard, so you had to slide it out, but you can add a tweak where you just uh, press the 
gesture area bar and double tap it or just press it with both your fingers and it pops up a, a virtual keyboard. But other than that, it's, it's really nice. If you do want to exit out of an app, you just flip it up and it's gone. So I really enjoy the multitasking that WebOS does have. It's, it's really nice. Something I do miss is having uh, widgets and such on the home screen, but it is difficult with the cards feature to have those widgets because it's either you are in the app or you press the ball and you are at your dock bar or your cards that you have open. So um, it, it would be difficult to integrate it where you can have icons on the home screen as well as widgets. It, it, in all honesty, my hope would be for Google to buy WebOS and integrate it with Android. That would be my uh, dream and goal because WebOS is really good. It does have some nice features that um, that could be used in Android and used very well, such as this cards feature. The cards are really great, whether I want to go to my uh, browser and whatnot, but it also needs to be updated with the hardware. The hardware definitely needs to keep up. To, I don't know if it's WebOS that is um, very intensive or it's just the hardware. My guess is it's just the hardware not being able to keep up with the software. So if I go to ESPN, I am connected to my Wi-Fi right now. Um, so it'll load the page up. As you can see, I can pop back between cards, open up the web page again. You'll see it load up, but it's just really nice to have all these different cards. Another amazing thing to have is the notification area. When you get notifications, it's actually not up at the top. Um, up at the top, you actually have not a notification bar, but you can tap in the upper right hand corner and it brings down just a couple menu options. You got your battery percentage, the date, uh, as well as you can turn Wi-Fi on and off, turn Bluetooth on and off, and airplane mode. So you got those options. Obviously, you can't swipe down like an Android. It's just tapping that um, and toggling that on and off. But let's go ahead and check out the notification area. Down at the bottom, as you can see, you got a little black area underneath. The only time that ever shows up is when you do have a notification. As you can see, I have an email right there. So uh, with this email, all you have to do is tap and it shows what notification is. As you can see, I have a comment on a video, um, a lot of them. And uh, so if I wanna go to the, the email, I just tap on it and it'll bring me right to the email. So I have that option. Or if I have multiple ones down here, like let's say I have a text message, a missed call, and an email, and I, and I don't wanna see the email anymore, all I have to do is swipe. So I can just swipe that way and it's gone. So as you can see, no more black area at the bottom below the dock and it's just gone because I've dismissed that notification. So that is something that actually Ice Cream Sandwich has included. So WebOS had that a long, long time ago and Android is finally adopting that, which is very nice. It's really nice to be able to just dismiss the notifications you don't want to pay attention to. Uh, so it's it's really a great feature definitely something that I like a lot I do like having a keyboard honestly I do like having a hardware keyboard just like my Samsung epic 4g it's nice having a hardware keyboard and the ability to switch between the virtual and hardware keyboard obviously you do sacrifice thinness of the device and bulkiness but it's it's really personal opinion obviously but as I said I would love it if um, Google would buy out WebOS and integrate it with Android. Obviously, I, my guess is that will never happen, but it would just be really cool for and for Google to do that because it would really increase Android's selling point and just make it that much better. Obviously, there's not many apps in the, I, it's called the app catalog for Palm. There's really not many at all. It's, it's really bad actually. So obviously if it was integrated with Android, you'd have all those apps available and it would just make everything a lot better with WebOS. And as I said, hardware needs to get a lot better. Uh, other than that, let's go ahead and check out camera, I guess. We can see what it looks like. If it opens up, there we go. So, Let's check it out. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Take a picture of my keyboard. It's actually, you can take pictures really fast. It's really nice actually. Like, not much loading time. It takes really good pictures. I'm very impressed with the camera, to be honest, on this phone. The camera is actually really nice. And you do have eight gigs of internal uh, memory that you can mess with. And it, as I said, if you want to exit out of it, just press that, bu that button and swipe it on up. And that's it. 
So that's that's really nice. You can actually, um, I believe when you're on this home screen area, you can just swipe up and it'll bring up the app drawer. So when you're in this area, you can just swipe up because you can obviously see the dock, so you really aren't gonna bring up the wave launcher since it's already there. So just swipe up and you got your app drawer. So you got all those gestures and different options, which is, it makes everything a lot easier and faster to run through. So definitely a really nice device, to be honest. I was impressed, even though it is such an old device. For being such an old device, it works very well, and it's I, I it was a really nice experience to have on this device. Um, let me know what you guys think. I want to hear from you guys on what you think of WebOS and how you think it could be integrated with Android, some things that uh, could be included. I know it has some, some features that Android does have as well. Um, obviously, on Ice Cream Sandwich, you have that uh, running apps slash recent apps option with the where you're somewhere and you tap it on, on the Galaxy Nexus, that is. You got that little button with the all the windows and you can swipe through them and then you can swipe left and right to exit out of them which is very similar to cards very very similar so it seems like android is taking some things from webos and integrating them into their software which i like so it, they are going in the right direction because webos is really a great operating system with the notification area if a message comes in right away you, it, you'll see the message if you tap on it it'll go straight to the message or if you let it go and you tap on it later, it'll bring up that little bar and you can dismiss it or go straight to it. But other than that, that's about it. Definitely, I had fun with this device for sure. I'll definitely be using it in the future uh, when I'm not on Android. I did start to miss Android with the apps, with the Gmail app, Google Talk, just all the games, all the different apps that you got from the App Store. So definitely, it's not something I, WebOS is not something I could be on all the time just because of the limited development on it and just how it's so out of date. So it needs to be updated. As I said, it'd be awesome to integrate with Android. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video. Uh, definitely be sure to subscribe to me for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.